G'day and welcome to this week's episode of Going Four Wheel Drive. Today we're just outside Orbost. We're heading over to Omeo and we're going to be taking one of the most scenic tracks around the high country. It's the Dedic Trail. We'll be veering off every now and again and having a look at some lovely sights from lookouts and fire towers and things like that. And then we'll make our way down the, into the valley of McKellips Bridge. Now McKellips Bridge, I haven't been there since I was a, well, knee high to a duck. And it was a great little place. We could go swimming there and everything. It was great fun then. And then on from there, we'll head on to uh, Suck and Buggin. Now there's a little schoolhouse that I've heard about. And it's made of timber planks. And these are handmade planks. It was supposed to be made back in 1858. We're going to try and find that schoolhouse if it's still standing. It might have been burnt down and destroyed, so we'll see how we go. From there, we're going to head over towards Omeo and we're going to be jumping onto a track called De Greaves Track. Now, according to the map, there's a, a water wheel just off the track a little bit. We're going to try and find that, an old relic from one of the mining days. So I jump in the car. We're going to head down to Jackson's Crossing now, and that'll be our first night stop. That's down on the banks of the Snowy, and then the next day we're going to head back out onto Yelmy Road and on the Dedic Trail. So jump in the car and let's go and have a great weekend. Okay, down we go. Bolt track and we've got our little dry creek crossing down here. Nice steep little bit to go down. This would be a good track in the middle of winter when there's Oops, I got oh, over, the, oh, over the rock. Oh, I've got stuff all over me here. Should have shut my window. Gee, pity there's no water in here. But never mind. Well, my window's all closed. I don't want to have stuff all over me like Doug did. And I've just got to dodge this rock. I don't want to stall. Wow, not a lot of water in it. Just take it nice and slowly. In the four wheel drive. Not too fast because there's a lot of rock in here, although it's not too rough. I think I might go through here in second low and just take it a bit easy. I don't want to go bouncing around. My suspension is quite stiff. This is Jackson's Crossing and it doesn't look like it's been used for such a long time. Can't see any tracks coming out the other side at all. It's 6am in the morning and there's a bit of a nip in the air with fog coming down into the valley. And young Matt here is trying to get last night's fire going. Say hello to everyone please Matt. And Doug over here, he's, well, no wonder he's so skinny. He's only having three wheat picks. No wonder. Now, time to pull down the tent. Pack it away and we'll go and hit the frog and toad. Um, this is a pretty, this bit of Varney's track's a pretty good four wheel drive track actually and we noticed there are a few camper vans and what have you stopped just prior to this rough section because obviously some of the whoop de doos are a bit too, a bit too big and steep to take a van up. Might just put it into low range here. As we go up and down the whoop de doos they look pretty sharp, so we don't want to go too fast over there. Blimey, Teddy, look at this. Oh, someone's dragged something on that one. Oh. So, wow. Little mountains in the middle of the track. Another one here. We've just reached a nice little camp spot and a ford down here. About so, to come down, second gear low range here. Ah, oh, lovely little creek. Oh, here we go. Yeah, what a beauty. Very nice. Well, same river as before. Seems to be less water in here, but never mind. At least you get some of the dirt and dust out from underneath the uh, brakes and everything like that. Everywhere there's monstrous whoop de doos along here. Someone's made to be on a bit of sweet 
It's starting to get a bit more rock in the track now. Oh, here's a nice little bit here. Nice steep little bit with a dog leg right in the middle of it. Okay, round we go. Oh dear, yeah, this is more like it. Oh, look at this. Oh, holy dolly. This would probably be the steepest and hardest part of the Diddick Trail. On the maps it's known as the staircase. A series of whoop de doos and sharp ledges just going down in a short, well reasonably short, uh, descent. Or if you're coming back from Omeo, uh, it's a climb. But nevertheless, it is a very steep section of this, and uh, unless you've got a proper four-wheel drive, you can really strike some problems going up this section here. Doug's coming down here in first low. Feathering the brakes slightly just to keep the speed down a little. We don't want the vehicle to gain speed and run away from us. The whoop de doos are quite sharp and the loose sections here make it very easy for the brakes to lock up if he's feathering too heavily. I'm coming down in first low, and gee, I'll tell you what, the heavy flywheel on these diesels are fantastic. I haven't even got my foot on the brake, and it's just braking itself as it comes up to the whoop de doos and it doesn't gain too much speed. If it does, well then I will have to touch the brakes. But at the moment though, she's just doing it with so much ease. The master seems to like this sort of country. Coming up after the brake, we'll come back to the Dedic Trail. That's what going for, we'll drive. Axis Tires Ultimate Control Best off-road storage systems are strong and very affordable. Ready to bolt into your four-wheel drive. Double stackers or standard two-drawer units. Best off-road 03 9706 6527 Factory 3 19 to 21 Park Drive South Dandenong. GNC Communications are specialists in two-way radios, GPS navigation, marine electronics and car audio. With products like GME, Uniden, Icom, Vertex and Garmin. Call GNC Communications for the right advice and mention going four-wheel drive for a great deal. Unless you've got a pretty decent four-wheel drive, you'd have trouble getting up that, that last steep section. Oh, here's a little camping ground. On a bit of a slope. Hmm. Oh, here we come to the little ford. Ah. Oh. I think it's just a bit of a puddle. Yep, that's all it is. Oh, it's, it's running ever so slightly. Hey, this is like going up and down a damn roller coaster. It's fantastic. Except for the loose sections, but yeah, great.
This is the old part of the track going up here. It's nice and beautifully steep. It's just a bit of bad luck they decided to bulldoze around the side of the hill rather than just leave this as it was. This is great. Beautiful view of McKillop's Bridge and all. The older one, which was no, the... I first came here when I was eight. Uh, I won't tell you how many years ago that was, but it's a long time ago. Uh, the bridge, I believe, was built in the early 30s, 1930s. And the story goes that when they were building it, there was a guy on the top there, a, a worker, building it, and the floods came down, and he actually got swept to his death from the top of McKellar's Bridge there. And the reason they built it was because it, it's a major link into New South Wales here, and the old wooden bridge kept every winter to get washed away. So finally they bit the bullet and decided to make something substantial. And this is it, still here today. Wow, look at this, eh? Magnificent. Well, this is the Little River Gorge. Magnificent little place here. Eh? Sheer rock faces and just over where the camera is pointing now, you might be able to see a couple of little rock pools. That's the, the little river there and normally when there's plenty of water about, it flows over and it's got some monstrous falls there. Parts of this gorge oh, up to about 500 metres deep and it goes for about four kilometres. So it's quite an amazing little area here and certainly one of the deepest, or it is the deepest gorge in Victoria. Um, there's all sorts of wildlife around here, not that we can see any. Brush-tailed rock wallabies, tiger quolls, and we get um, sucking bugging mallies uh, growing out of the cracks in the rocks and in little chasms. We'll have tree ferns and everything. Absolutely top spot. Well worth coming here, this viewing platform, and, and getting a look at the area. Absolutely brilliant. We're on the road to suck and buggin' at the moment. It's a bit like the road down to McKillop's Bridge. There's just phenomenal views. Nice and narrow and windy. Certainly two-wheel drive. Tom Dillon, who worked for the O'Rourke family, is buried in a grave at the top of the hill near the schoolhouse. He was a ticket to leave man, a convict who was granted freedom of lodging and occupation within a given district until the termination of his sentence. Edward O'Rourke built the school in 1865 and hired a person by the name of Ballantyne to tutor his 13 children. Gee, yeah, imagine this in the way. Oh, oh. 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 Dear, it's rough. No, he's a rough. Wow, nice little climb. This is it? in second gear, low range. Oh, yeah, we're getting rocky now. Blimey, sheer drop off to the right. Another nice climb up here. We're climbing right up to a helipad. So, one of the benefits of having the fires go through here in 2003 is that the trees haven't fully recovered yet, and the views you get are absolutely spectacular. Just about every point you get to, there's phenomenal views. Where else could you get fantastic views like this? Nowhere else but Victoria's high country. The views here are absolutely enormous. Look at those ranges. They are fantastic. They are so beautiful and majestic. Mate, this is our backyard. Monster of a whoop de doo here. Oh, we've got another one halfway up. Gee, looks like another one just here. And then we're almost at the top. This is a bit of a steep pinch, this one. Rouse! Some rock ledges as well. Well, oh, just nice and easy, first low, away we go.
Now, because my vehicle is lighter than Doug's, and also doesn't have the articulation and the type of suspension that Doug's got in the Prado, I'll be taking a slightly different line. You can see how my vehicle bounces around so much with this stiff suspension. So yeah, just a slightly different line, but still making it up here without any trouble at all. Nice little steep bit here. At least there's a couple of whoop de doos in, but it's a bit loose. So when we come back from the break, we'll head down McFarlane's flat track down to do a creek crossing. Looking pretty rough. That's on going four wheel drive. Maxis Tires. Ultimate Control. Best off-road storage systems are strong and very affordable, ready to bolt into your four-wheel drive. Double stackers or standard two-drawer units. Best off-road, 03 9706 6527, Factory 3, 19 to 21, Park Drive, South Dandenong. GNC Communications are specialists in two-way radios, GPS navigation, marine electronics and car audio, with products like GME, Uniden, Icom, Vertex and Garmin. Call GNC Communications for the right advice and mention going four-wheel drive for a great deal. Well, we've just come down McFarlane flat track right, they had a fantastic descent down into this valley and here we've got a beautiful little creek here, do a bit of a crossing. Got a creek crossing here, eh? Yeah, yeah but there's no tire, oh, there's no tire tracks coming out, so. So there's none at all wet, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah, so it won't have been today at all. Oh, it's great when you come down a valley and you come across something like this. Beautiful little creek crossing. Oh, they're wonderful. This is a nice little spot here. We actually stop here and have morning tea too. Absolutely crystal clear here. Plenty of grass up the centre of the track here. Oh, we've wound our way around the Cobras Trail and eventually come down a very long climb and or descent into a little valley here. We've got a little creek crossing. Whoa. Oh, this is rough. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. oh, nice big rock here. Oh. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Oh, beautiful little climb. This stuff here. No, it's not very much. Oh, here we go. Another, another little river crossing. Dude, oh, yeah. holy dolly! Look at this. Yeah, good as gold. Yeah, you got another little crossing here. Just ride your brakes through here. Might clean out. No, best not to, oh, because then the water can get between them. Oh, okay. Oh, a couple of big rocks here too. Oops. Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, rougher, aren't they? Geez, they're nice rough crossings. The first one was, this looks like not quite as bad. Wow, we've got a really steep pinch here. Oh, holy dolly, look at this. We've been climbing quite a way out of that. Oh, some ruts and everything here. Wow, I'm just in second gear low range. Trying not to spin my wheels at all. Oh, this will be a good bit here. 
up. Up we go, dude. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I got to let you go. Get up ahead a bit more. Oh, what have we got here? Loose rock, some ledges. I'm in second low. I've got a lot of uh, momentum going, and I've just got to keep on going. Let the tyres do all the work. Gee, I could feel the tyres bite. I could feel the vibration through the bodywork. Oh, fantastic! Gee, oh, what a beauty! Wow, this is a good steep one. Very, very loose and rocky here, so because it's so bouncy, I decided to put it into first low. Almost up to the top. Nice little track this, and we've hit a turn off to our left. Now there's supposed to be an old water wheel somewhere down here, so I reckon we'll hit this turn off to the left and head down there and see what's there. Just a short distance off to Greaves track we came across this water wheel. It's marked on the maps, it's in remarkable condition and built early last century. Probably brought up in pieces, as this is remnants of an old tin mine here. Boy, is it overgrown. Another 12 months and you'll even have trouble walking down here, I think. Oh, it's a nice steep little section. As we come down Mackenzie Road here from the high country, we're heading to the highway and into Omeo where our fantastic four day trip and it will come to an end. We've come to the end of our four day trip. It's been absolutely tremendous. The tracks have all been the good old fashioned type of four wheel drive tracks. What you expect of in the high country, fantastic. Loose shale, rock, ledges, ruts, steep grades, steep descents. Absolutely brilliant. Breathtaking views and scenery that'll just oh, take your breath away totally. Fantastic time away. The staircase on uh, Dedic Trail, that was a ripper. We went down it alright, no dramas at all. Then we decided to do a Yui and come back up and that was even better. Oh, it was great. Then we went back down, of course. Then we got to the uh, lookout overlooking McKillop's Bridge. That was spectacular. And McKillop's Bridge has been developed too. It's even got drop dunnies in it now. And it's also keyed up for tourists. So they can go rafting and canoeing. They can go for bush walks around the old mine relics and all sorts of things. Great little place. Sug and buggin'. We did find the schoolhouse. Great little piece of history there. Absolutely brilliant, in fantastic condition. When you go there, make sure you drop in a, a few dollars in gold coins, or a couple of notes even, because that helps to keep the restoration up. The people do it on their own, but with the gold coins and notes, that really helps out tremendously. It's a credit to those people who look after the place. And the water wheel, up near Benambra, we did find that, yeah. That's in that good a condition. I reckon you could have stood it up, greased it, and go in operation again. It was that good a condition. Gee, amazing. But all the overgrown track around there leading down to the water wheel, it's almost disappeared. Nature has nearly taken over the track, and which is a bit of a pity really, because it is a, a bit of an icon for that area. And it's a bit of our history too, mining history. Anyway, all in all, we've had an absolute brilliant time these last four days, and we highly recommend you get up in this area whenever you can. It's great. All right, that's all we have time for you. You have a great week, and we'll catch you on the tracks.